Hello viewers, welcome to my blog ash.marinebistv.com. This is Ash and will keep you all updated on every aspect of maritime sector. So we shall move on to the first update. The first update is dolphins declared as India's national aquatic animal. Moving on in detail about the same, the center, it goes like this. The center has declared dolphins a national aquatic animal in order to save the rare freshwater species from disappearing from the country's aqua map. The Union Environment and Foreign Minister Jairam Ramesh told to media persons in New Delhi like we have tiger as national animal and peacock as a national bird, we have declared dolphins as a national aquatic animal as it represents the health of the rivers, particularly Ganga in the country. Moving on to the next update, it says SCI's single hull phase out continues. Talking more in detail about the same shipping cooperation of India that is SCI plans to scrap seven single hull tankers by the end of this fiscal year to meet the global deadline to phase out single hull, single hull tankers by 2010. Moving on to the next update, Pekri boat mishap toll reaches 45. The final toll in the boat tragedy at Tekri in Kerala reached 45 with the recovery of one more body from the lake. Authorities have called off search operations saying all victims had been accounted for. Moving on to the final update, it says Bharti Shipyard up stakes in great offshore bidding race. Private sector shipbuilder Bharti Shipyard on Monday said it has hiked the open offer price to acquire state stake sorry, in offshore service provider Great Offshore to rupees 580 per share. With the increase in offer price, the size of the proposal now stands at rupees 438.3 crore. The company which holds 22.48% share in Great Offshore has initially offered to acquire 20% stake in the later for Rs. 405 per share. Party Shipyard is locked in a takeover battle with rival ABG Shipyard which has also made an open offer to buy, to buy over 32.12% stake in Great Offshore. So viewers, to get more information on maritime updates, you can log on to news.marinebistv.com and also you can be in touch with me through my blog ash.marinebistv.com. Stay tuned. Catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.